Hey, hey, this is Anessa Brasekian, also known as Paper and Bling on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for joining the Pear Tree Cut File first birthday hop. So excited to um, participate in the hop and actually do my first ever YouTube video. So be kind and gentle, please. Um, so here I'm working with the Just Chilling Cut File using the Simple Stories uh, paper collection and embellishments and um, I'm actually um, documenting a picture of my Yorkie who um, is 15 he's so snuggly his name is actually Snugs he's just chilling and I thought this was the perfect cut file so here I'm backing um, the cut file with the red and white star um, paper. My technique that I use I actually learned from Erica Rose Creates is to flip it over on the back side, outline the inside with the pencil, and then leave a little bit of a margin, maybe, <clears throat> you know, uh, just a tad bit around, um, and then cut it out. Um, sometimes I use uh, different pattern papers to do that. Here I chose to do it all in the same uh, paper because I went with the theme of red, white, and blue to match uh, Snugsy's little t-shirt that he has on in the photo. Um, so right now I'm really just uh, cutting around the letters, um, again, leaving enough room uh, with the margins to make sure that I can attach the glue um, so that it um, stays nice and secure. Um, and I'm going to keep doing that here, just uh, going around the file. You'll see me later on really just touching up little bits and pieces. So while I'm doing that, um, I guess let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been scrapbooking for oh, probably 20 years or so. I love scrapbooking, have been... Um, a fan for a long time, started out in my high school years, and have done it really ever since. Um, I scrapbook pretty much anything. Um, I do have three kids and a husband and the puppy here, so we're lots of um, things to document. Um, I enjoy both documenting our experiences, the everyday travel, but also um, I love the creative, creative aspect of it. So if you want to see a little bit more of my work, check me out on Instagram at Paper and Bling. Um, and then I'm also on Facebook uh, by the same Paper and Bling. So here I use the Nouveau um, liquid glue to attach the patterned um, cardstock to the back of the cut file. And you can see it, I wanted to use the um, red and white star paper from Simple Stories. Um, I forget the name of it. I think this is the Star Stripes and Sparklers. And it comes in that simple, the 12 by 12 simple set. So yeah, here I'm just cleaning up a bit to make sure that um, everything looks nice and clean and I don't have um, extra paper sticking outside the edges. Um, I do like using the X-Acto knife for this part of the process. Um, my favorite is actually the Cricut. Um, what I love is that you can change the blades um, and it's really easy to use. Um, it's got a nice grip to it. so. Just one that I found really, um, really nice to use. So you'll see me apologize for my hair there, but um, again, still just cleaning up um, around and around here. And then you'll see as I get a little bit further down, um, I'm actually gonna put um, foam, 3D foam behind it. So that when it goes on the page, I end up uh, layering and having a nice um, 3D effect. I love doing that on my pages. I think 
Um, it gives it a lot of um, texture. It gives it more interest, uh, a little bit of shadows here and there. And I think, um, you know, despite it making the pages bulky, um, I do love the look. So now the just chilling is done here. So what I'm going to do next is uh, prep the background. So I've taken the picture of um, Snugs here and the cut file and really just placing it to see kind of where I want to put um, the ink. So I'm going to use the Distress Oxides um, to really give it um, some ink around um, the photo and around uh, the Just Chillin' title. And I use the pencil just to mark the spot so that when I'm actually working on the paper, I have an idea of where I want to work. <clears throat> Those are the scrapbook.com um, daubers and then I use the stencils. I think a couple of them are VK Booten and then the other one I forget um, where it's from. Use some distress um, oxide spray um, and then the packaging which you'll see me do um, and then the distress oxide inks. So here for this project I use the candied apple and faded jeans distress oxides. Um, actually this is a technique that I've seen Vicky Booten do quite a bit um, and a few others, and I really love it. Um, I, I love the color that it gives, um, and no no two pages are alike, right? Your technique could be very much the same, but the outcome is very different. Um, and then I use the dryer just to help, help speed up the process of drying the ink here and you can use you know any that's made for um for this process and then here i'm using the dauber and i'm gonna start stenciling so what i decided to do was use the little starburst um, stencil as well as the stars so the starburst i'm gonna go around um and do uh, an overlay in the candied apple again and usually when I add embellishments or elements like this, I end up kind of thinking in a triangle or in threes. So just something that I've learned over time. Um, I think it, it's a nice visual, visually pleasing way to do it. Um, and you'll see that, you know, throughout the process, I end up picking up the cut file or the photo, um, placing it back just to see how it looks, to see if I need to add anything um, and where. One thing I'll caution is, you know, you want to do layers. Um, you don't want to go too heavy right um, up front. And here you see, you know, kind of, I, I do go back and add elements. Um, sometimes I do dab it with the paper towel to give it a lighter look. So instead of letting the color really um, dry, vibrant, sometimes I just dab it on and then um, use the paper towel. So it really works here. I think it gives it nice dimension. And then I'll keep going around here and um, stenciling the little blue stars. And what you don't see here, I think I end up doing it off the camera at some point, is going back in and adding a bit more of the starburst and the stars. So I do get to a point where I am doing the placement again of the, the photo and the, the title and... It's a couple spots where I feel like they need to be added in. So you'll see that later on. I do it off the camera, but um, you'll see the final product has additional um, stenciling done on it. So here I'm adding the foam strips to the back of the um, title to give a dimension. Um, 
with this one, I actually do go back and add a second layer on top to double up the thickness. And the reason I'm doing that is um, when I put my photo down because it's also popped up and there's an overlapping um, section, it kind of, you know, ends up looking sloped. So I end up going in and um, doing that second foam layer, which again, <laughs> gives a lots of dimension, lots of bulk, but um, very pleasing, I think. So here now I'm looking at the other uh, pattern papers to see uh, what kind of mats I want to do. Um, so the idea for this page, um, you know, I wanted to keep to the red, white, and blue, um, but I certainly felt like having the photo on its own, it, it was just um, a little too boring for me. So I wanted to add some of those mats um, behind it in the different color cardstocks, which I love. I love pattern paper. Um, so here I'm cutting it, um, trying to do the placement. Um, and then um, I will go in and add the pop dots in the back to the photo. So again, I wanna pop that up, give it dimension as well. And that's what I'm doing here. Um, I have an arsenal of different foam dots and strips and circles and squares, which um, I use quite frequently in majority of my projects. So um, you can never have enough. Um, I do decide to do a little bit of um, distressing on the edges using scissors. Just give it a little bit interest and... Um, Excuse me. So I do that both to the blue and the red. And then I pop up my picture on uh, the striped blue, blue paper. And then I end up um, just adhering that to the red. So distressing here is fun. You really don't have to worry too much about the process, right? You can, um, if you tear a piece of it, that's fine. It's just part of the look. And you'll see I have a couple tears here and there. And then I use the tape here. This is actually a fun one. So I'm a very big fan of the glue dots um, with the dispenser. But in this last year, um, I really started also using the tear tape. Um, I like the amount of coverage that it gives and it's pretty easy to use. So here then I use, um, when I look at the Just Chilling um, the cutout because I end up putting it on white cardstock. Um, I wanted to give it a little bit of shine. Um, so I end up using the Vicky Budin effects glaze in silver um, and a, um, a paintbrush to just go over uh, the word just. And it gives it a nice shimmer effect and helps it pop um, pop out against the white background that um, the cut file is sitting on. And with this one, um, you can just let it dry. You know, I, I put a pretty thin layer, so it probably took a minute or two to dry up and be ready for, um, for me to use. So here now I am going in and adhering um, the photo, the title, you see it's all dry, and I I centered um, the title um, and also lined it up so that um, the J in just sits right below the little blue star. So my 
idea at that at that point was to have that be the little dot <laughs> instead of the cutout. Um, but I end up changing that um, later on, and you'll you'll see that. So here I'm just um, removed all the backing from the foam and then adhered it. And then I realized that there's a spot that needs um, a couple more foam dots. So now um, I start adding some more embellishments. So there's a flag, um, a little banner um, that's in the sticker sheet in the Simple Stories um, collection pack. So I used pop dots to have that stand up a little bit and adhered it. Um, I was looking to see for other embellishments, but I don't end up using any others. Oh, except the little tab. And you'll see the tab. Um, I end up adding it later. So here, um, I now start to add other embellishments. And you see the little cute epoxy flare that I added on is from Scrap and Happy Studio, which I'll link um, at the bottom. And it's a little Yorkie epoxy, which is so cute. Um, and then I end up adding some um, some bling to my pages so using the nouveau glue um, and then some um, some sparkles so these forget i think they came in a a, a pack from hip kit club and i'm using the red and um clear like shimmery pearl lessened one so i go around and add that on um, and I love this tool I'm using. I don't know what it's called, um, but it makes it so easy to work with rhinestones and with um, all the little bits and pieces. And I'm going in and adding the little picket fence gems in blue. So I add them to the banner um, and then I'll add them to um, the little bling as well. All right, so the page is all done now. Um, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you learned something new today. Um, do uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it or any comments. Um, check out the next stop on the hop.